Hey guys, welcome to another video. Dusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do image slideshows within OBS. So maybe you are doing a live stream where you're doing a training or you want to show something, uh, you know, a bunch of images in succession, and you can do that easily within OBS. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and then how to run the slideshow to make it work and how to set up hotkeys to go back and forth between the different images. So as you can see here, we have OBS pulled up here in full screen. We have have our scenes over here and our sources over to the right. So we're going to go ahead now and create a new scene. We're going to call this slideshow just for the purposes of this tutorial and then click the OK button. That way we have a nice fresh blank scene here within OBS. Now under sources, what I want you to do is click the addition symbol there in the lower left hand corner and then you're going to see something here that says image slideshow. So right there under image, go to image slideshow. And then once you've done that, you'll then need to name your selected source. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it the same. You can name yours whatever you want and then click OK. Now it's going to ask you to basically set up the slideshow by uh, inputting all of the properties. So the first thing you see here is visibility behavior. Always play even when not visible. Now, maybe you want this to happen, but you know, I normally leave that the same. Uh, slide mode, you either want it to be automatic or manual. Now, automatic is pretty self explanatory. When you set this up, if you have it set to automatic, the images will go through uh, basically on their own. You don't have to push a key to get them to go from one slide to the other. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this to manual. That way, I can show you how to set up the hotkeys to go between the different slides. But if you want them to go manually, basically leave this drop down menu selected as automatic. So, next thing is the transition. You can do either fade, cut, swipe, or slide. I like the slide transition, it just looks better. Um, the time between slides. Now, this is only relevant if you do automatic slide transitions. So, uh, again, it's set right now to be 8,000 milliseconds. Uh, you can adjust the timing here. Uh, you can change this up to be 15 thousand milliseconds if you want it to be longer than that again you can go here and do that the transition speed will be how long it takes to go from the one slide to the next so if you want the transition to be slow you can increase this number if you want it to be fast you can decrease this number I recommend leaving it around 700 I have found that to be a pretty good sweet spot next you have the option to loop the slideshow so if you're doing it automatic you can keep this box checked and when it gets to the last image in the slideshow it will automatically start back over and go to image number one uh, the next checkbox is hide when slideshow is done you can check this box if you want to hide the source or hide the slideshow when it's over I normally keep that unchecked and then randomize playback is if you have like a bunch of images you just want to kind of have going on your screen on your stream at a certain time click randomize playback if you really don't care about them being in any particular order bounding size and aspect ratio I always leave that to automatic whenever I've changed this it's always messed it up but you can if you want to change the aspect ratio and size uh, of of that normally I create images or try to change them to be you know 1920 by 1080 but if you're doing something different you can change the uh, size here under that option and then lastly is where we will input or insert our image files you can do them one at a time or you can do them all at once so now go over to the addition symbol in the lower right hand corner of the OBS window and then click on that and then go to add files then it's going to pull up this guy here where you basically go and find the files that you want to add so I've got one set up here with a recent stream I did and then I'm going to go ahead and select a bunch of different images so as you can see here I'm selecting multiple images and then I'm going here and I'm clicking on open now, as you can see, uh, the images are imported into the uh, the actual slideshow here. Kind of shows you what they're going to look like. And then under image files, you can see kind of the order in which they go in. Now, if you have a specific order you want them to go in, you need to know which images are titled what. Because you can select an image here in the uh, image file section and use the ups and down arrows here in the lower right-hand corner of the screen to actually put exactly the slide or image you want where you want it in comparison to the entire slideshow so once you have them ordered the way that you want them click OK 
Now, as you can see here, we're going to have to increase the size of them because of the uh, display size uh, that I stream in. And then once we do that, you know, you can adjust it and change this like you would any source within a stream. Once we get them, you know, resized the way that we want them, uh, you know, the next thing you want to do is to add hotkeys that you're able to, you know, basically click a key on your keyboard and go either back or forward within your slideshow. So in order to do that, go up here to where you see file and then go to settings. And then once you're in the general settings here within OBS, there is one here called hotkeys. Click on the hotkeys. So what you'll want to do is scroll all the way down to where you see image slideshow. And then right here where you see next slide and previous slide, you basically need to put your cursor there in that text box. And then for next slide, I, I go ahead and change that to my right arrow box button and then for previous slide I changed that to my left arrow button now you can change these to whatever you want them to be basically these are the ones that I find you know I found to be the easiest for me and then once you're done click apply and then hit OK and now when you go back to your scene here hit the right arrow button it will then go from right to left as far as you know within your image slideshow now when you're back in your image slideshow I can click the left button there on my keyboard to go back and then the right key there on my keyboard to go and advance within in my slideshow. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please go and like this video, share the video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe for more great OBS tutorials just like this one. Thank you guys so much for consuming my content, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.